How's it go guys? Today we're going to be making a slingshot out of birch plot wood. So, the only reason I'm going to make this slingshot, I got a bunch of them, but I just want to do a video on it. I've got this design, which I just made up. Uh, the only reason, it's very simple. The only reason I want to try this one is because I've been, you know, using a different style of shooting. And this should be the perfect uh, width of the forks that I would need for to be aiming dead on with the corner of the fork. So let me get this uh, traced out on a piece of birch plywood and let's get it cut out. All right, so I got it traced out right here. I cut the little square off around it because it was on a huge piece of plywood. But anyway, uh, got my bandsaw right here behind me. I'm gonna cut this out. So cute time lapse. So it's actually a couple like hours later, but I've got it cut out here. It's not the best that I could have done, but I'm just gonna get to evening in that. I'm just gonna get to evening out the sides, uh, you know, getting everything nice and flat and even, and then I'll round around the edges, and then I'll catch all the. End. Well, I got most of the rough shaping down with the Dremel. That's what it looks like now. Uh, that's the back side. This will be the front side. And these little indentions right here to put my thumb and my finger in for whenever I draw back. So I'm gonna put, also slant the tips just a little bit so I can, you know, get a little bit of that straight wrist going. I just like to keep my wrist not completely straight, but just a little bit straight. But uh, yeah, so uh, I'm going to get band grooves put on this thing. Band grooves right there, they're cut. Uh, yeah, I reckon I'm just going to take the sanding. You know, the sanding will kind of help everything smooth out. And then we'll throw some bands on it before I finish it because I'm not going to have time to shoot for a few days. I'm going to get this sanding done and then I'm going to throw bands on it. We're going to shoot it and then I'll just spray it with polyurethane to finish it. So uh, yeah. Y'all stay tuned and we'll catch you in a second. I finished it. Uh, I went up to about 400 grit just because this is not supposed to be like a, 
I don't know, like a finished product. This is just me testing out this design to see if it hits where I want it to when I try it out. But anyways, um, yeah, I'm gonna go throw some bands on it. We'll take some shots and then I'm gonna coat it with some polyurethane or something to finish it and seal the wood. And then if you guys like this video, show some support on it. Maybe I'll, uh, maybe I'll do something like do like a laminated version and do like a full nice looking slingshot out of this but uh yeah let's go get bands on it and uh we'll go shoot it i threw some bands on it uh this is 0 0.62 0 0.66 uh gzk green and i'm just going to be shooting it semi butterfly which is only to right here instead of full butterfly which would be my arm all the way back there so it's just a semi butterfly so i got my catch box right here take a couple shots with the camera like this and then I'll zoom it in on the spinner but uh, shooting eight millimeter steels so nothing big I think that was just to the left dead on That's two in a row. I'm gonna zoom it in now and uh, shoot something like that. All right, so that stick right there has a shotgun shell right at the top of it. I'm gonna zoom in and see if I can hit it. All right, let's see if I can get this first shot. I think I literally hit like right the bottom of it, just knocked it up off the stick. But anyway, that's that. Um, yeah, it's working pretty good. I just barely have to, when I draw like this, I just kind of barely have to put it, uh, put the fork tip right under where I want to hit. So, yeah, I'm gonna throw some polyurethane, something to seal this, and uh, I'll catch y'all then. <laughs> 